with the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently hope for future and also. For that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the fraternal love with which you embrace the child of Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased from his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ, O most lovely Father, ward off from us the contagion of error and corrupted influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from heaven, assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from death and peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. She did too one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Prayer for the COVID-19 pandemic. Dear God of all the living, you sent your son Jesus to heal us from illness and sin. We turn to his healing power in this time of anxiety over the pandemic of this potentially deadly virus. St. Damien and St. Mary Ancone dedicated their lives to service of those who had an infectious disease. St. Mary Ancone said, I am not afraid of any disease because she was confident of your power to save. At the same time, she took prudent precautions of hygiene to assure that she and her sisters would not be infected. Let us learn from this example to put our trust in you, to save us from the ravages of disease, and to take prudent measures to prevent its spread. Guide us to know when to isolate ourselves from the possibility of infection, but never let anyone be left without the care and concern others in the community. As our Diocese of Honolulu has been dedicated to the divine mercy, we pray with confidence, Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Stewardship prayer. Generous and loving creator, you have called us to Malama Ikamakana. As disciples of your Son, we ask that your Spirit open our minds and hearts to more deeply appreciate your countless blessings, increase your transforming spirit within us, so as to nurture our call to stewardship as a way of life, marked always by faithful prayer, service to others, and generous giving. With the Kukua of St. Mary and St. David, teach us to be good stewards, so we may return a hundredfold the Madonna entrusted to us. We pray this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.
Good morning. Good morning. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with As we come together in the loving presence of God, let us be humble enough to acknowledge we are sinners, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, Keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Blessed be your God for bringing you to us, daughter. 
Blessed is your Father, and blessed is my son Tobiah, and blessed are you, daughter. Welcome to your home with blessing and joy. Come in, daughter. That day, there was joy for all the Jews who had lived in the new day. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise, praise the Lord. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just, and the Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations, hallelujah. Yes, but then David calls me 
as my Lord. So he is son of David with a human thinking from generation to generation tracking. But then he is divine God himself. For us too, when we look into Christ, we should know he is fully human and fully divine. It is very hard in the morning to comprehend and that is why you and I are here to ask the Lord to help us understand who this Jesus is for us as our Savior, as our Lord and as our Beloved because He became one among us just like you and I. But then He saved us dying on the cross, taking all things to Himself, all the sins of humanity. And He became that atonement, that Savior, that salvation before the Lord offering Himself. He continued to do that for us. So that our eyes will open and we will recognize Him as our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Let us join our hearts in prayer as we offer our petitions to God the Father. For the Church, as the mystical body of Christ, may she grow and prosper in the Lord's saving work. Let us pray to the Lord. For an end to persecution, discrimination, and bigotry in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. For those who suffer mental illnesses, may Jesus, the divine physician, be their help and their strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For all of us gathered here, may God give us a spirit of joy in the gift of our faith and allow it to bear good fruit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the faithful departed, may they receive a place in the eternal banquet feast in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our personal intentions. For the special intentions of this Mass, which are for for an end to the spread of the COVID-19 virus, for an end to the pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Blessings for all members of our Lady of Good Council Church and School. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the eternal repose of the souls of Florentino Ramos, Lourdes Nacolero, and Daniel K. Sidman. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. Let us ask for the intercession of our blessed mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father in heaven, hear these prayers and answer them. We make this prayer from Christ our Lord. Amen.
and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Share with one another at Christ's peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
spiritual communion prayer together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually to my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I deny myself fully to you. Now allow me to be separated from you. Let's pray. Govern my solidity pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist is celebrated Christ in our hearts, going in peace. Thank you, Father. Anybody celebrating birthday? Anybody celebrating the anniversary of the sacrament of marriage? Oh, we are one birthday celebrant, yeah? <coughs> we pray for her. Loving Father, we thank and praise you for the gift of life that you have given her. Watch over her, protect her, and shield her, so that she may experience God's presence in her life. At this very moment, as we gather in faith, Send your spirit upon her, touch and heal her. If any kinds of violation, physical, spiritual, emotional, or psychological, God, heal her, make her whole and well again. Thus she may continue to be a witness of your life, your gift, here on earth. Mother Mary, intercede for her. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. 